what we know is that inform the consciousness could uh, be the principle that organizes the information process in brains, where the, the same principles or similar principles that work across other cells as well when the organism organizes itself in its information processing. What we notice is that all cells can send conditional messages to their brain cells. Right? Not only neurons can do this. And so, uh, why is it that uh, only brains are able to think and perform uh, operations that allow brains to model reality and interact with it? Maybe other cells can do that too. Right? Is, is this a revolutionary idea? For most cultures, it's not. For neuroscience, it is, because neuroscience knows only neurons can compute for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, and uh, all the other cells that are adjacent to the neurons do not really contribute very much. Uh, on the other hand, we notice that even the ones of the elegance don't run in simulations. So basically, there is no model in neuroscience that is complex enough to actually replicate learning and control as it happens in nervous systems if you put this into a simulator. They're able to uh, get abstract features of neurons right and so on. And we see a lot of interesting things that we look at the connector. But we cannot actually even model the, the brain of Drosophila or a portion of it in an adequate way, where we actually have the neurons as the switching units. And uh, this could be because our models are incomplete, but it could also be because we are missing something. Maybe uh, neurons are basically just telegraph cells. I suspect that neurons have evolved for a very particular purpose, to move our muscles very fast. And to do this, we basically needed to build wires into our organisms that translate information very, very quickly. They have a high metabolic cost, and they need to speak a specific code so that it's stable over long distances. They basically speak in Morse code to each other in these spike trains. And these spike trains are, uh, have different constraints than the cellular communication to neighbors. If you just want to talk to your neighbors, there are many ways of doing this. You can elicit them uh, mechanical signals just by pushing at the membrane of another cell to exchange all sorts of chemicals. You can send over RNA to send very complicated messages. But the spread of these signals is going to be limited by the jumping from cell to cell. And this means that signal propagation is going to be like millimeters or centimeters per second at best. This means its magnitude slower than what the nervous system can do. And so once you evolve uh, telegraph cells to move your muscles very fast, to compete with other animals at a high metabolic cost, you also need to do perception and decision making at the same rate. So you build an information processing system out of telegraph cells. And this telegraph network is able to make sense of reality and control the organism very quickly. But this doesn't mean that the other cells do not have opinions as well. Right? So it's quite conceivable that if you are a multicellular organism that lives for long enough, that this makes the model of reality that allows this organism to discover itself in the world and solve problems in the same way as a nervous system would do. It's just going to be a couple magnitudes slower than our nervous systems operate. But this is a hypothesis that uh, most of our science is very uncurious about, which is, is weird when you think about it, right? It makes sense that plants have operating systems similar to animals that run on them, but you, they would not need to use specific cell types. So you don't need, need to look for nerves in plants. You also, for information transmission in our organism, it's not always necessary uh, dedicated cell types which do this, because any kind of cell type can be recruited in sending information towards the organism.